Now on CUTV. There was a shot at love for students this past week. Couples competed for awards. And free chances to show your cam and pride. Ride to school showing your support. And PAX Movie Night had a good turnout, this time with a gangster story. These stories and more when we return. College can be stressful at times. Some students find it hard to stay up with their studies. Brooke Whiteley tells us about different workshops available for students to overcome their school fears. Cameron is hosting student success workshops through the month of February. The workshops will help students gain important skills that are necessary for their success in college. Students will have a variety of workshops to choose from. The workshops will cover time management, study skills, test taking strategies, and personal responsibility. Senior Don L. Mann says he is very excited about the workshops. I feel good to know that Cameron is investing in me. You know, I put so much into Cameron and now Cameron's saying, hey, we don't just want to teach you, we want to help you be a better student. And that really helps me. The Student Success Series workshops will be held in the Centennial Room. Refreshments, supplies, and door prizes will be provided. Reporting for CUTV, I'm Brooke Whiteley. Residence Life hosted a Valentine's Day dance, Tila Tequila style, at the McMahon Center last week. The theme was Cameron's Shot at Love. It was modeled after the MTV series A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila. The event also featured a 50 style dating show. One blindfolded boy and one blindfolded girl were able to choose a movie date from three contestants. In the end, Mary Atkinson won a date with Samuel Menka and David Pylon won a date with Caitlin Reedman. Winners of a cutest couple contest also received movie tickets as well as goodie baskets. Cameron knows students like free stuff. It's probably safe to say we all do. Melissa Landere explains Cameron Pride for the ride. The little yellow tags on the rear view mirrors of students' cars is one way of getting the word out about Cameron University. Director of Intercollegiate Athletics Jim Jackson says local community member Larry Jefferson wanted to find a better way to get Cameron's name out. He was tired of seeing all the OU, Oklahoma State front license tags, but never seeing any Cameron license tags. And he said, so I'll make you a deal. I'll buy them if you put them on. It's called the Ride with Pride Challenge. The free gift is a Cameron University license tag to display on the front of your car. Jackson says it is good exposure for Cameron. You know, we want the local uh, kids coming out of high school to stay in town and come to Cameron. We want to recruit kids from Oklahoma. So if you want to show some Cameron spirit without paying to do it, stop by the fifth floor of South Shepler or call Jim Jackson at 581-2306. Either Jackson or someone from the athletics department will put the tag on for you. They're also offered at all the home basketball, softball, and baseball games. For CUTV, I'm Melissa Landre. Well, Mr. Hyde saw his two movies of the week once again. One is a comedy about becoming Hollywood and forgetting about the ones back home. The other one is about a murder on the web. Tell us about it, Dan. Well, the two movies I saw, first I saw Roscoe Jenkins, and then I saw Untraceable. But let's talk about Roscoe Jenkins first. America's favorite talk show host is Mary, television sweetheart. You're the male Oprah. Oprah, bro. <laughs> but before they start their new family, he's taking her back home to meet him. <gasps> this is the only pair of pants you can find in this airport. The colors look fabulous on you. I look like a clown. My baby's home. It's been a long time, Dr. Stephen. Dad, yeah, that's just a stage name. Yeah, I know. Gotcha. Now, he's returning to the place. He tried to forget. You got your jewelry? You got your purse? Hollywood, it came to town. What up, son? Oh, man, look, we got some picnic table cloth fans. Hey, boo boo, let me get another picnic basket. Got you right here. And reuniting with the relatives. I got out of here the first chance I could, and I haven't looked back. He hardly relates to. Take that dog out of my kitchen. Just ain't sanitary. What's wrong with people? Make no damn sense. This movie was extremely funny. Martin Lawrence was his usual funny self, but the whole cast made this a laugh out loud riot. I give this movie an A for keeping us 
me entertained for over an hour. My next movie was Untraceable. In the FBI Cyber Crime Division. Busy night for the bad guys? A busier night for us. They can catch any criminal with the touch of a button. You got him now. We need you to knock down a door for us. Move it! Three, go in here! Suspects in the city. Good work. Mama, did you mean that? One? Just one. But nothing prepared them for this. Check out this tip we got about a website. <laughs> This movie deeply disturbed me for one reason only, and that is the possibility of this actually happening. This movie was about a killer's website that the murders based on how many logins he gets. I give this movie a B plus for touching on a potentially dangerous scenario. Next week we'll take a more in-depth look at the premise of this movie. Now, Dan, I didn't see Untraceable, but I did go and see Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Mm -hmm. And although Martin is my favorite comedian and I want the box set of his show, <laughs> I think Mike Epps played the best part in that movie. Oh, yeah. Mike Epps amazes me every time. He, you know, and he does his, all his stuff impromptu. Mm -hmm. He doesn't actually have a script that he goes by. That's what's amazing. He's that funny without having a script. Yeah, that's why our movie segment is so amazing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. We want to remind everyone that this week is Homecoming Week. Many events and activities are scheduled. Be a part of the celebration, and we'll bring you the inside look. Plenty of reasons to tune in to the weekly CUTV news. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time.